Hi, it's Juanita back with Crafty Stitch Away. I thought I would go ahead and I would do the hockey pad. Now these ones here are for a size newborn. Um, they're quite stretchy and they just go over the foot and on the ankle up some. So it's just like the big guys hockey pad, but just quite a bit smaller. <laughs> So, I'm, as I said, as I did with the jersey, I'm doing it in these colors because I have an order for Tampa Bay Lightning, and these are their colors. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead. And again, it's, I'm using a navy, or royal blue and white yarn, and these are four, four worsted weight yarns. This is Burnett Premium, and this is Pound of Love in a white, and a size four crochet hook. So to begin, make a slip stitch, and we're going to do a foundation chain of 15. So we're going to do a half double foundation chain. So that's one, whoops, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And again, I use the foundation chains a lot because it gives it much more elasticity to it for stretching, especially on baby stuff. I got a little hang now that that keeps hooking on. So we're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first one, and we're going to chain one. You can push that down that way. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around, which is 15. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, and join with the slip stitch. Just turn that back down. Now again, you can make these as short as you want or as long as you want. Mine vary on some of them because it all depends on how many colors I have to use in that. So, so for this round, we're going to do a front post double crochet and then the next stitch a back post double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. Let's just give it a little bit of texture. So front post, back post, all the way around. So hard crocheting with my arms out like this because I usually hold them up to me. Now when we get to the end, normally, or most cases, you would end in the opposite of what you started. So you started with a front post, you would end with a back post. but this is an uneven number of stitches, so don't worry about it. You're going to end with a front post, and you're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, for the ones that I'm doing right here, I'm going to do one more row of blue, and I'm going to do a single crochet around. My, it's hot here. Ooh. And I'm not going to join that yet because for my next row, I'm going to add some white. And I'm going to do a row of single crochet white around.
and join with this lip stitch. And before I go any further, oops, before I go any further, I am going to sew in that end. Let me grab my needle here. And those have seen my last video, I have a little kitten, so I have to keep my stuff all uh, pretty contained so she doesn't get at it. Now, where did I put my needle? I already had it still out. I was making a dress. <laughs> So I'm just going to sew, weave that end in here before I continue because it will be too hard if you wait till the end. So if you're adding your colors after you finish the row of that color, I would suggest weaving that end in. So for my next row on this one, for this specific one, I'm going to do one row of half double crochet around. Now, if you're just doing all a solid color, you can do the same way I do my rows if you want. There's no set way of doing it. This is just for this one. If I'm doing like the Montreal Canadiens or Boston, I might have less rows of the blue in the beginning because I'm doing more rows of the yellow and the white. So... But this is the basic idea for how you do it. Just know that for the newborn size, it is 15 stitches. And I wouldn't make it too, too high up because, as you know, the higher up, um, the thigh and all that, it would be, unless you want to increase to make it higher. But these are basically just for down around the ankle area of the, of the leg above the skate basically. So I'm going to do one more row of the, the white around in a single crochet because I'm trying to make it look just like the, the actual hockey players for the Tampa Bay. I looked, I look up all the teams. I have all the, and I try to get them as close as the actual NHL teams. And I'm going to Bring my blue back. Pull that. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut off the white. I'm going to sew that end in. And you don't have to do the same as me, but whatever I do on the bottom, I do on the top if it's just like two colors. But there's some, I know like the... Uh, Vegas, Vegas, I know it's, um, the bottom is completely different than the top. It's a, a red, a gold, a black, and it's not all equal parts to each side. But just make sure you have 15 stitches for the newborn size. So I'm just going to single crochet around. Oops. So that's 15, join with a slip stitch. And this row, I am going to do the front post, back post again. Two, three, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoops, 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 twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And I'm going to join with it. And I know my second row I had done half doubles. So this row here, I'm going to make a half double row. And 
join with a slip stitch. And this is my last row. And for the last row, I'm going to do single crochet because it amounts to the same thing as your beginner chain. Join with the slip stitch and pull that off. And all I have left to do now is to weave in my ends. That's one. And then the second one. And when you do the there's quite a gap when you when you do do the the foundation chain so just make sure that you sew you when you tie that and you do it on the bottom so there are the little um hockey pads and these ones like I said these ones are for a for the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning but again you can do them any color you can 10 colors if you want. You can do them as high as you want. I wouldn't be to them do too high unless you're increasing because again on the five they might be a little too snug. But these are great. They slide right up over newborn's feet and it goes right above their skate. It's a hockey sock. Hockey pad, hockey sock. Same idea. Just like the big guys do. So if you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a quick like. Um, all I ask is no negative comments, please. Just be nice to one another. And hopefully I can get on tomorrow and do the hat probably. Uh, the hat, the pants, and then the skates. I'm just kind of tweaking my skate pattern right now, but hopefully I'll get that done this week too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You have yourself a wonderful evening. Take care. Bye.